The domestication of plants was a crucial aspect of the development of agriculture in the Fertile Crescent around 10,000 BC. This period marked the first agricultural revolution, as humans began to cultivate crops for food, fiber, and other uses. This revolution transformed human societies and led to the growth of settled communities, the emergence of social hierarchies, and the spread of agriculture to other parts of the world. The Fertile Crescent, located in the Middle East, was an ideal place for the domestication of plants due to its favorable climate and rich soil. Humans began to selectively breed wild plants for desirable traits such as larger seeds, higher yield, and better taste. One of the earliest crops to be domesticated was wheat, which was cultivated in the region around 9000 BC. Other crops that were domesticated in the Fertile Crescent include barley, lentils, peas, and flax. The domestication of plants allowed humans to become less reliant on hunting and gathering, and to establish a more stable food supply. Domesticated crops provided a reliable source of food that could be stored and used throughout the year. This allowed humans to settle in one place and develop permanent communities. With a more stable food supply, human populations grew and societies became more complex. The domestication of plants also allowed humans to develop new products such as textiles, which were made from fibers obtained from plants such as flax. These products were essential for human survival as they provided clothing and shelter. The domestication of plants also led to the development of new tools and technologies such as the plow, which made farming more efficient and productive. The domestication of plants also had important cultural and social implications. As humans began to rely more on agriculture, they developed new religious and spiritual beliefs that centered around the cultivation of crops. Many ancient societies worshipped deities associated with agriculture, such as the Sumerian goddess Inanna and the Greek goddess Demeter. The domestication of plants also led to the emergence of social hierarchies. With the development of settled communities, some individuals began to accumulate more resources such as land, water, and food. This led to the development of social classes, with some individuals having more power and wealth than others. In many ancient societies, farmers were at the bottom of the social hierarchy, while rulers and priests were at the top. The domestication of plants also had important environmental consequences. As humans began to clear land for farming, they disrupted natural ecosystems and caused soil erosion. The development of irrigation systems also led to the depletion of water resources in some areas. These environmental changes had long-term impacts on the region's ecology and led to the development of new farming techniques such as crop rotation and terracing. In conclusion, the domestication of plants was a crucial aspect of the development of agriculture in the Fertile Crescent around 10,000 BC. It allowed humans to establish a more stable food supply, develop new products and technologies, and develop complex societies. However, it also had important cultural, social, and environmental consequences that continue to shape our world today. The domestication of plants was a transformative moment in human history, and its impact can still be felt thousands of years later. The development of irrigation in the Fertile Crescent around 10,000 BC was a significant achievement that allowed early societies to thrive and develop into complex civilizations. The Fertile Crescent, which stretches from the Nile River in Egypt to the Tigris and Euphrates rivers in Mesopotamia, is an area with a favorable climate and abundant water sources, making it an ideal location for early agriculture. The development of irrigation systems allowed for the controlled use of water to cultivate crops, leading to increased food production and the growth of settled communities. One of the earliest forms of irrigation used in the Fertile Crescent was flood irrigation. This involved diverting water from nearby rivers and allowing it to flood fields. 
which help to replenish soil nutrients and water crops. However, this method was not always reliable, as it depended on the availability of water and the natural flow of rivers. Therefore, early farmers began to develop more sophisticated irrigation systems. The earliest known irrigation system was discovered in the ancient city of Jericho in modern-day Palestine. The system, which dates back to around 8000 BC, consisted of a series of canals that diverted water from nearby springs to irrigate crops. This early system was relatively simple but effective in providing a reliable water source for agriculture. Another important irrigation system developed in the Fertile Crescent was the use of underground channels known as Qunats. This system was developed in Persia around 800 BC and was widely used in areas with low rainfall. The Qunat system involved digging tunnels underground to capture water from underground aquifers and bring it to the surface. This allowed farmers to access water even in areas with low rainfall and led to the cultivation of new crops such as pistachios, almonds, and apricots. The development of irrigation systems had significant social and economic impacts on early societies in the Fertile Crescent. With the ability to cultivate crops on a larger scale, farmers were able to support non-farming populations, including artisans, traders, and rulers. This led to the emergence of social hierarchies, with some individuals having more power and wealth than others. The ability to irrigate crops also allowed for the production of surplus food, which could be traded with neighboring communities, leading to the development of trade networks and increased wealth. The development of irrigation also had important environmental consequences. As farmers began to cultivate crops on a larger scale, they cleared land and disrupted natural ecosystems. The overuse of water for irrigation also led to salinization and desertification in some areas. However, the development of irrigation also led to the development of new farming techniques, such as crop rotation and soil conservation, which helped to mitigate some of these environmental impacts. In conclusion, the development of irrigation systems was a critical component of the development of early agriculture in the Fertile Crescent around 10,000 BC. It allowed early farmers to cultivate crops on a larger scale, leading to the growth of settled communities and the emergence of complex societies. The development of irrigation systems had significant social, economic, and environmental impacts on early societies, which continue to shape our world today. The development of irrigation systems was a transformative moment in human history and was instrumental in the development of early civilization in the Fertile Crescent. The spread of agriculture in the Fertile Crescent began around 10,000 BC, with the domestication of plants and animals by early humans. The development of agriculture allowed for the production of surplus food, which in turn led to the emergence of settled communities and the growth of human populations. Early farmers in the Fertile Crescent cultivated a range of crops, including wheat, barley, lentils, chickpeas, and flax, and raised animals such as sheep, goats, cattle, and pigs. As agriculture spread across the Fertile Crescent, it had significant impacts on early societies. The ability to produce surplus food allowed for the growth of settled communities, which in turn led to the development of more complex social and political structures. They also cleared land for agriculture and built terraces and retaining walls to prevent soil erosion. These activities transformed the landscape of the Fertile Crescent, creating a mosaic of cultivated fields, orchards, and grazing lands. The spread of agriculture in the Fertile Crescent had significant implications for human history. It allowed for the growth of settled communities, the development of more complex social and political structures, and the emergence of non-farming populations. These developments laid the foundation for the growth of cities, the rise of empires, and the development of modern civilization. Without the spread of agriculture, 
it is unlikely that human societies would have achieved the level of complexity and diversity that they have today. In conclusion, the spread of agriculture in the Fertile Crescent around 10,000 BC was a critical development in human history. The domestication of plants and animals allowed for the production of surplus food, which in turn led to the growth of settled communities and the emergence of more complex social and political structures. The spread of agriculture also transformed the natural environment of the Fertile Crescent laying the foundation for the growth of cities, the rise of empires, and the development of modern civilization. The impact of agriculture on human societies continues to be felt today, and its significance for human history cannot be overstated.